Since I've been doing videos on crystals, people, a lot of people have asked me about Lemurian seed crystals and I really couldn't comment that much on them because I hadn't used them myself and I really didn't want to just spout off what a book already tells you about them. Um, I feel like if I'm, I'm going to do a video about, about it, it should be my own personal experience with that stone or crystal. So I went ahead and got some and this is my personal Lemurian seed crystal and um, it has become my best buddy lately in my meditations. Crystals just help me to focus on meditating in general and um, I've really just become really good at meditating since I got my One Ascension technique done by Melanie um, who I'll put a link to below and I think I've talked about that before um, but also having a stone or crystal in my hand really helps me to focus because I have an object to focus my attention on. Um, maybe that stone or crystal is helping me to balance a particular chakra or it's helping me um, focus on a certain intention. So it gives my mind something to focus on so it's not running away as easily. And Lemurian, I just find myself feeling the striations and Naisha Asian calls these stairways to heaven um, because it, it, they actually look like little steps that go up the sides. And um, true Lemurians, they say, come from a very specific mine in Brazil called Minas, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, and I'm probably not, Minas Gerais, or it, it's spelled, the last part is G-E-R-A-I-S, um, a very specific mind. About that, but they say the Lemurians are a uh, different species of people that no longer live on this planet, um, of beings, and there's information encoded in these crystals. And I do get high ascension feelings, very coherent feelings, compassionate feelings when I meditate with my Lemurian seed crystals crystal, I should say, because this is my personal one and this is the only one that I meditate with um, so far. And I since found out that there are Lemurian seed crystals that have these striations going up the sides, and then there are a little bit more rare, the Lemurian star seed crystals, and those have alternating um, sides of striations and then smooth. So this one actually without even knowing it when I selected it for myself I said oh I like that one I selected a Lemurian starseed crystal because it has smooth very smooth clear sides and then that alternates with the striations and it has really good striations um, on it so I'm really enjoying this piece right now and then I went ahead and got some pink Lemurian seed crystals and they're pink because they have hematite inclusions. Now, they, it's probably hard to see. Can you see here? This is a clear one and these are pink. Okay, so let me hold that in my hand and hopefully you can see the difference in color. Sun's going down so I'm not getting natural sunlight but you would really see um, the difference in color and these are really nice. A full-on Lemurian seed because it doesn't have smooth sides except on the facets at the top and these are true pink Lemurians again from the same mine the Minas Gerais mine in Brazil and um, so these qualify as the true Lemurians and this is a true pink Lemurian and when I say that um, I say that because there's a distinction between some other mines that have pink Lemurians seed or pink Lemurian cr seed crystals sorry I'm getting tongue-tied um, because those are not the, the the ones that are not from that mine 
the ones from Minas Gerais mine have the hematite actually included within the quartz. So you can't flake it off the outside of the crystal. Okay, there's some other pink Lemurians that are really not very different from tangerine quartz, and you've seen me do videos on that, or I've had it in my Etsy shop, where the hematite is actually on the outside of the crystal. And if you scratched really hard at it, you could flake or pick the hematite right off, maybe with a toothbrush or something. I mean, it wouldn't come off real super easily, but you could find clear spots on it because it's just dusted on the outside. It's on there pretty good. Remember, you know, it's probably been baked on by the earth, but you can probably get it off. It's not within the crystal. The real true pink Lemurian seed crystals have the hematite in the crystal, so they have a pink tinge to them or pink tint that comes from within. Okay, and I think now you can see the difference here. This one's a really cool one because it has a little twin on the bottom, like a little baby. You see that? It's cool, huh? Okay, crystal blessings.